Hello everyone, it's the Canadian Futures Trader here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to the video. Gotta get more followers. Everyone, today's video, gonna be talking crude oil, that's right. Black gold. I uh, wanted to go through the contract specs on the CME Group website for newer traders. I think it's important personally to know this stuff, at least like read it once and understand the products that you trade. Any product you trade will be available on the CME Group website and you can do the same exercise and read through it. Yes, at some point I will do this for the Ultra Bond as well, but I figured crude oil was a little bit more universal uh, in terms of what people are interested in trading. And it's a good jumping off point because when you start getting to, into the treasuries, uh, things get a little bit more complicated just because it doesn't trade in you know one cent increments. Sometimes that's a little bit more of a stumbling block for people to wrap their heads around. Uh, and each treasury trades in different price increments. But nonetheless, let's focus on crude oil for today. I will say the CME Group website is a fantastic resource for any trader. Uh, they have free educational content on here. It's a nice bite-sized uh, lesson. So I highly encourage you to check that out if you're looking to learn and really grow your knowledge of the futures markets. And then as well, if you want to figure out things like why does crude oil trade in $10 increments. Well, we're going to get to that. Things like that you will find out uh, by digging into the details. So I pulled up crude oil. You can go to the main CME Group website and search uh, and find any of the products you're interested in and explore their website. Now they have lots of information. We're going to focus on the contract specs, but they do have, you know, things like a nice overview, quote settlements, volume, uh, time and sales. I will mention before we get to the specs, volume is sometimes an interesting one. Uh, typically as traders, especially in the trader evaluation space since we're day trading essentially we have to be closed out of all of our positions at the end of the day we're not as worried so much about settlement uh, which i am going to talk about a little bit but just so you know what it's all about but we're not so much worried about it but we do want to be worried about what the front month is uh, it's usually pretty clearly obvious and obviously right now june is the front month a quick way to tell though too is uh, as to what contract you should be focused on is the total volume traded so the june contract is getting the most volume sometimes you get to a position in the month where the june contract is still open but all the volume is switched to say july for example so i would be trading the july contract at that point it's usually fairly obvious if you trade say crude oil day in and day out and then the next day you open up crude oil and there's basically like no activity good chance it's rolled forward uh to the next month that's an easy way to tell so let's get to these specs and go through and we're not going to cover every single like word that's on here again some of it doesn't matter as much to us as as you know day traders and i want to give you some insight to the contract but i don't want to bore you with every single technical spec of it so uh but there's a few things that i thought are important to know so one one contract so when you trade one futures contract of crude oil that contract represents a thousand barrels of oil if you did hold that one contract until delivery date congratulations you will have a thousand barrels of oil again not possible with the various uh, trader valuation prop firms because we have to be closed by the end of the day let's say in your own personal account you did the settlement point would be in cushing oklahoma here's the sky view of cushing oklahoma it's basically the hub of oil in the united states i also mentioned front month a little bit earlier you can talk here it's the near month or spot month it's the closest expiration now maybe i jumped ahead just a touch i should have mentioned the product code here uh, again, thinking of new traders, I know when I was new, I didn't understand any of this stuff like CL, okay, crude oil, I get that, that kind of makes sense. What's M2? So all product codes on the Globex exchange, uh, the first two letters will be the product codes, so CL for crude oil, UB for ultra bond, ES for the mini S&P, et cetera. Uh, third letter is the month, and I'll show you that in a second, of the contract month, and the last digit is the year, the last digit of the year so 2022 and it's the the ending two obviously not the front two so 2023 contracts would be a three uh this m where you can find that our good friends at google and the cme group if you type in contract month codes you will find this page and right here they are uh so this is the june contract and you can see that code is m so uh certainly don't have to memorize these 
but uh, good to know, of course, or at least know what it is. So there you go. So this is the crude oil June 2022 contract. That's how you would read that. So getting back to our thousand barrels, uh, price quotation is in US dollars cents per barrel. So if you look at you know the prices of crude oil, it does trade in one cent increments, right? We can see that up the last price was $115 and one cent. Now that's per barrel and each contract, keep in mind, represents a thousand barrels. So you might ask yourself, and it's right here. Minimum price fluctuation is one cent. So it can move up or down one cent. Uh, different products are different amounts. Like I mentioned, Ultra Braun trades in 30 seconds. $10. So if you were to bring up crude oil, you're new to trading, you're looking at the DOM, and you notice that for every one contract, every one cent represents $10. And you say, what is this crazy futures world? I don't understand what's going on. Well, this is why. Because that one contract, while the price per barrel moved one cent, that contract represents a thousand barrels. Take a thousand barrels, times it by one cent, you get ten dollars. So there's your ten dollar per penny increment. Can sometimes be useful information uh, to you as a trader. Of course, different products have different per uh, tick increments. Uh, most of them do actually. So always good to know what you're dealing with. Different kind of clearing product codes. We anytime you see stuff like this, focus on the Globex. That's what we're actually trading. So it's CL. Not that all these aren't pretty much CL. Uh, listed contracts. So again, as futures trader, if you're in the funded trader valuation world, you're always going to be trading like the current you know front months. You're not too worried about this if you have your own account. You probably aren't watching this video as you're probably already familiar with a lot of this stuff, but they do have listed other months. They have, you know, July, August, September, etc. Um, why people might do that, you have to recall that traders aren't universally just people looking to scalp a few dollars out of the market. You actually have, you know, large oil and gas companies who are using futures contracts to hedge prices um, against, you know, their production and deliveries and stuff. A great example, many, many, many years ago, speaking 20 years ago, I worked for a natural gas company. We did actually have two fu ded dedicated futures traders. All they did all day was buy and sell futures contracts, hedging prices on production and estimated demand. They're, and, you know, they're buying more than one or two lots. They're throwing around quite a few lots. So when you are out there in the trading streets dealing with traders and somebody trades you know a 50 lot and you think who is this crazy person that might just be a company that's uh working the price so uh settlement mother method is deliverable this means if you actually did hold this futures contract until delivery congratulations you know you may be the buyer of a thousand barrels of oil um, other delivery methods would be just sort of like a financial settlement you know like a dollar exchange won't get too much into termination of trading one thing I will mention just to skip back to listed contracts and there's future months. So you might in your journey hear about uh, spread trading. There's different methods of spread trading. You can do it between different products. Uh, you can do it uh, between different months. And so this would be one where people might be, you know, selling the front month and buying, you know, three months out. And they're doing that based on what they expect the market's going to do. So they basically create their own kind of little hedge, reduce their risk um, and trade the spread. But that is outside the scope of what we're talking about today. Uh, we won't worry too much about this. This is when kind of the, the months, uh, the contracts roll over and whatnot. I mean, it's good to know, but uh, I think you get used to whatever products you trade and you kind of expect it as well. Uh, trading and settlement. We won't get into much of this again, keeping in mind that most of us are just day trading. So we're not holding these to settlement, nor are we holding them trying to actually buy a thousand barrels of oil. Um, they have full settlement procedures. Uh, there's limits, etc. Let's skip all this. Um, deliveries free on board in Cushing, Oklahoma. We already took a look at that. And then they have some more information about the delivery period, etc. So again, not as day traders, you know, uh, interesting maybe, but probably not as valid. So that's a quick overview of a crude oil contract. Some of you, um, hopefully that was useful or you were thinking I already knew this stuff. That's great as well. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, but there you go. I think it's really interesting to know this stuff. I do recommend if you are really like into the stuff and especially oil, um, get yourself a copy of this book, Oil 101. Um, it is it is a fascinating read just to understand the entire process of how the oil industry works. Um, I do believe it's been a couple of years since I read it. I do believe there is a section about the futures market or at least pricing. If anything, now you know how to read product codes and you know why when price of oil moves one cent in the futures market, it represents $10. And hey, you got a little taste of what spread trading or the fact that it is out there as well. guys. I want to thank you for watching this video. 
Again, highly recommend the CME Group's website to learn all of this stuff. Take some of their courses. They even have it right up here, an entire education section. Uh, you can learn. It's completely free. Great place for newer traders to start out. With that, I thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.